Hi, my name is Michelle Solentano. I specialize in family portraits, and today I'm gonna to share with you my five top tips for family portrait photography to make your sessions more and more successful. So tip number one, use a tripod. It's really important for me that the camera be on a tripod and not in front of my face when I'm photographing my clients. The best way of getting expressions from your clients is by communication and interacting with you and your expressions. If your face is stuck behind a camera, they can't see you. So use a tripod and then you also don't have to set up your family groups over and over again when you put the camera down and pick it back up. You don't have to recompose. Your camera's set up all the time, ready to go. Tip number two is all about dad. So moms usually have their makeup done and their skin looks really good and there's no shine and redness in their skin, but dads generally don't wear makeup and so they tend to be a little bit shiny and they tend to be a little bit red in the skin tone. So I always have blotting tissues, oil blotting tissues in my camera bag or in the studio so that I can blot any oil from dad's face. And I also use a green primer. So it's a tinted green primer that isn't makeup but then helps tone down any red tones in dad's skin and that makes my retouching life a heck of a lot easier. Tip number three, make sure you have a consultation with mom prior to the session and you get to know the kids. The most important thing is that the kids are having a good time and that you can interact with them on things that they're interested in. When you have conversations with kids as opposed to asking them to smile, you get much more natural expressions. Are they into dance? Are they into theater? What movies are they into? Do they like gaming? What sports? Finding out who their sports heroes are, what sports they play at school. The more you can find out about the kids, the more things you have to talk to them about, the better your session will go. Tip number four, take the cell phones. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but it levels the playing field. Also, we always forget about those cell phones and we get those weird rectangles and pockets. So at the beginning of every session, I look at the kids, especially teenagers who always have their faces in phones. I want them to be engaged with the session and not lost in their phone. So at the beginning of every session, I open my camera bag and I say, okay kids, all your phones in the bag. And they moan and they groan and then mom and dad kind of laugh and say, do what the photographer says. And then I say to mom and dad, that means your phones too. That levels the playing field and all of a sudden the kids and both parents know who's in charge, who's running the session, and this way we have their full undivided attention and I don't get mom over my shoulder photographing the kids while I'm working with them. Tip number five is definitely talking to mom about coordinating clothing. Um, nothing is more distracting than when a family comes in completely mismatched clothes, big logos, big patterns, um, having a cohesive look will really bring the styling of your portraits all together. So if you're not having consultations with your moms prior to sessions, I definitely recommend doing that, making sure you get all the info ahead of time and that they come dressed properly so your portraits look beautiful. Okay, I have one more, it's a bonus tip. In order to be able to shoot your portraits as wide open as possible, which I love, wide open apertures, when you're working with families, getting all of the faces as close to the same focal plane gives you the ability to shoot with wider apertures to get those dreamy, creamy backgrounds. You don't always have to shoot at five, six, or eight. You can shoot family portraits at 2.8, 3.2, whatever you like. As long as those faces get close to the same focal pl plane, you can shoot wide open. I hope these tips are helpful to you in your family portrait photography. I'm very easy to find, Michelle with one L, Celentano.com. Instagram is Michelle Celentano Photographer. Facebook, Michelle Celentano Photography. Come and hang out with me, I hope to see you soon.